Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Caniglio and I am a photographer and I've traveled the world um, to many places and um, I'm going to share some of my photography with you today. And to my right over here is my niece Bella and Bella has been on some of the adventures that we're going to go on today mm -hmm. and uh, you're my travel partner yep. a lot of times and always fun fact extraordinaire and today if you have any questions please let us know and Bella will be the googler <laughs> uh, to get some answers um, but as we talked about last week we went and saw see the seas of the world um, and that was part one so we're going to do part two this week and last week we did go and see uh, I think it was eight or nine locations mm -hmm. and today we're actually going to see almost 12 locations so um, get ready for it and we're going to see all the oceans like we did last week and let me just as always share my screen and we'll get started. Where is that share my screen? There it is, nice green one. So here we are, I shared this map last week. Um, it just basically shows the three oceans that I've seen and that I've uh, taken photos of. And that is the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Ocean. Um, what's not on this map is the Arctic and the Southern, which is the Arctic is up north and the Southern is down south. Not been to either one of those, as I said last week, but I will be someday, mm -hmm. as I'm sure Bella will be as well. So let's get this a little bigger for you. And we're gonna start our adventure. All right, so the first location we're going to go to is in Kenya, Africa, on the East Coast. And there's this beach, beautiful, beautiful beach called Diani Beach. Um, I went there with my sister two times, my cousin. And um, it is on the Indian Ocean. And it's green and beautiful. Um, they have lots of camels. You can take camel rides um, and lots of boats. Um, what you see behind there is a fishing boat. So they go out on these, it's kind of like a catamaran. They go out and um, go fishing. And actually when I was there, where I stayed, they would take the fish from the fishing right there and cook it for you. Wow. It's delicious. Fresh. Some of the best fish I ever had. But like we've been seeing some beautiful clear waters, um, blue, 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 green, um, and just beautiful. And the temperature of the water was so nice. Not cold I at all. I think the whole Indian Ocean's always really always warm. warm. Yeah, bathtub, yeah. <laughs> bathtub level. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> I did get um, stung or bit by something when I was in this ocean. Um, in Diani Beach. I still to this day don't know what it was, but I had to go to the first aid and uh, put some something on it. <laughs> <laughs> These boys were um, planning something, I think. Beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful water. Those catamarans will be used later for fishing. All right, now we're gonna go to the USA and we're gonna go to South Carolina um, to Mount Pleasant, which is also on the East Coast of the United States on the Atlantic Ocean. And the water here, always beautiful. Nice sunburst for you. My this favorite. Is, <laughs> this is a good one. Um, yeah, the sun is pretty cool there. It's like multi-dimensional kind of. Mm -hmm. So the water could be cold here, actually. Yep. 
For but, sure. But beautiful. But not here. Not here. <laughs> We're going to Mexico, Cancun. And the water is like nice and warm, but also just look at how blue that is. Just gorgeous. We've done a lot of things on this. Uh, didn't we go, both of us were on a boat and we went on like it was like a sail. Remember we went up in the air and we went on a sail. Like a parasail? Yeah, a parasail. but it was kind of like that, but it was, um, it was attached to the back of the boat. Mm -hmm. and it wasn't quite a parasail and he was dropping us in the water, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that? Yeah, really, really fun and beautiful. So we were kind of having the bird's eye view from the top, but it was like a ride, like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. That's a parasail in the back there. Yeah. A little different than that. More like a kite, kind of attached to a kite, mm -hmm. <laughs> being whipped around. Mm -hmm. So that is Cancun. And now we're gonna go to Miami to see a couple of pictures. But Belle and I both were like, let's go to the Bahamas. Look at that water. Mm -hmm. yeah, that that looks so nice. It's so beautiful. Well, but it is right the same there. water, so, mm -hmm. which is, is the Atlantic. Uh, we're still on the east coast of the USA, um, and uh, can be cold water there. Or boats, a seagull, always seagulls. Oh, yeah. Lots of seagulls. They steal your food. So only a few pictures of Miami, but now we're going to go to the Oregon coast. So now we're entering the Pacific Ocean, which last week, if you remember, we only dabbled in it for mm -hmm. one country, Argentina. Um, but this week we're gonna see a few from the USA. Um, and this is Cannon Beach. Um, we actually um, went to two locations along the coast, uh, Cannon Beach and Pacific City. This is Cannon Beach um, where they have these rocks. I can't remember if Cannon Beach, me and my brother David to confirm this, but remember that movie Goonies? Mm -hmm. It was filmed on the Oregon coast oh, nice. and it was filmed where all these, these kind of rocks are. Mm -hmm. I think it is Cannon Beach because the rocks were kind of like, they had to go around it with the mm -hmm. boat and they were trying to find the treasure. <laughs> but it was really beautiful and we went there um, as the sun was going down, so the colors were really gorgeous. That was the sunset. And this water's really cold. Like, I was just gonna say, you don't, yeah. re you don't really go in that water. It's just- Unless you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, which my nephews did. Um, I think we might have a, a comment or a question. It is correct. The Goonies was on Cannon Beach. My sister's fact-checking. Yes. <laughs> that is a good movie. I would like to see that again, actually. And then this is Pacific City. So this is um, a little more south on the Oregon coast. Um, we stayed there and they had beautiful sunsets because we're on the west coast um, mm -hmm. where the sun is setting here. Fantastic. Now we're going to Ireland um, to a spot called Sligo, right on the water. My sister and I were there with my friend Molly and friends. Um, and we actually had seaweed. We got in a seaweed bath and they take the seaweed from this, from the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. And it's supposed to be really healing and your skin gets really soft. It's pretty amazing. Nice. Actually. So this was right outside of the place that we did that. It was actually really weird. I'm sure. <laughs> it was like slimy, but you felt like you got out and you, you put your hair in it and like everything was soft. It was yeah. amazing. That's really cool. I love this photo because I, I captioned this. I actually shared this a few days ago um, with my Europe series. And I said, choose your own path. It's just a nice little path and it looks like something's fun around that corner. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, again, the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. 
This was cold too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not really. We didn't sun go in there. Beach. Nobody was there sunbathing. We were actually there in October, so even Especially still, enough. yeah. And their weather is pretty similar to the U.S. and that it gets a little warmer in the summer and months on the months, and then afterwards it's chilly. That was Ireland, and we're gonna stay in Europe and go to Malta now, which is a small, tiny, you can barely see it there. It's a small, tiny country right below Italy. So that big boot above Mm -hmm. is Italy, so you can see how small it is. And it's right on the Mediterranean Sea, like Greece was last week, and um, like a couple of places we've been actually. So very, lots of um, architecture there, European architecture there. So this is through a little building, old building. Some lighthouses. This is the Blue Lagoon, which is blue and beautiful. And actually we were there in um, February or January or February, and so it was winter time, but it was warm enough, I was probably in the 60s, that people were going in the water with wow. just bathing suits on, and I was like, I mean, I guess okay. if you really want to <laughs> go in, I mean, it did look very tempting because it was so beautiful, but um, this is the water, you can see in the background, this is the whole um, city, more of the blue lagoon so we were, you can see there's some people mm-hmm. down here and they were just kind of hanging out and then there was like a little beach there's one right over here but there's one down here you can't see it on this picture where people were just hanging out and lots of boats i can't remember what they're called there there's a certain name they call the boats the little sailboats yep these boats here They're all usually really pretty colors. This was an area that people, not right here, but um, where people uh, dive into the water. It was like a little diving hole. Mm, It doesn't look that deep. No, that was um, a little further in, but if you came out a little bit, people jumped over into a deeper spot. And there was this guy with his dog and the dog would, was jumping in um Mm. like before him and like right with him it was really funny that's awesome so that was beautiful malta and now we're gonna go to california west coast west coast Coast. bella says best coast (laughs) um and uh i only have one picture of the bay it's actually mission bay in san diego and then we're gonna go up to san francisco but this is a my favorite tree on uh uh, mission bay right there Um, and that was actually sunrise because of the positioning even though the ocean is on the um west coast so you would see sunsets. This is actually where it was positioned sunrise. San Francisco, which is a little bit more north. This is San Diego down here. We're going to go up to San Francisco. I guess if you drove from San Diego to San Francisco, it would probably take like probably good while. I've These days, it. you did it, right? Yeah. So what, like 12 hours? Yeah, I stopped in between in LA. Yeah. So yeah, it's a journey. It's a journey. A beautiful one though, because mm-hmm. if you drive on highway, the one, the 101. 101. I think it's no. You're right. The one. The one. I think it's US one. Yeah. Anyways, it's beautiful. Beautiful, right along the water. Um, so obviously this is the Golden Gate Bridge, right on. And in the background here is the city of San Francisco. Couple of views of that. Such, it's my favorite bridge. I love this bridge. Mm. Through the bridge. It's just so cool. The skyline. 
now we're going to go to Hawaii. Um, I'm actually, um, Hawaii is off of the United States. It's considered the United States, as you probably all know. Um, and I actually went for this trip to Maui, which is all the islands are considered Hawaii, but really Maui is its own thing. And uh, Hawaii is the big island, but you can see it's all considered. So small, small island in the Pacific, way far out. Beautiful, green, hot. Mm. I, I always say like, it, feels like we're in Ireland with these photos, actually, more than the mm -hmm. Ireland pictures. Although the sun is shining, so. <laughs> and that's this, a sign. <laughs> that's a sign. Um, this is a little hole um, that at certain points you can see here, the, the water from the ocean pops up and it makes this like, almost like a geyser. Um, but at certain points, it, it actually looks like, the hole looks like a heart. So you can see it, it's like, looks like a heart and it's supposed to be beautiful. I saw some pictures online and I was like, I want to get that. And of course we didn't go at the right time of the day. <laughs> so we just saw it spurting up there, but beautiful. But it really is gorgeous and green. Mm -hmm. Cool rock formation. Now we're going to go to India and we had quite the adventure there, Bella and I, this last October. Mm -hmm. um, and the first beach we went to is almost at the bottom of the country um, called Morari Beach. And we caught a lot of beautiful sunsets there and they mm -hmm. had a lot of boats, fishing boats. Remember we saw that, that one that was on the beach and they were all oh, yeah. they were carrying the boat into the water into the water and we were just like how are they going to do it and they totally did it it took them probably like 15 minutes but they finally got it out into the water so well they have ones like this and then like yeah that one like more elaborate mm -hmm. so it was beautiful colors and the water was gorgeous and we did go in the water here but I think it, it was, was a rocky. little really rough. Rough. It was Big rough. Waves, That's huge right. Waves. Yeah. So we didn't really. And they didn't have any lifeguards, I don't think. So mm -mm. it's kind of at your own risk. And then we had to actually take a plane from um, Kerala to mm -hmm. Goa. And we went to Patnam Beach, which is still on the left coast on the west coast, mm -hmm. um, which I didn't mention, is on the Indian Ocean. So we're back in the Indian Ocean. And when we were there, what happened, Bella? A cyclone hit. <laughs> we didn't even swim here. No, we didn't yeah. even swim. Um, it was kind of, it was still hot, but it wasn't, it was very well, This overcast. is what it looks like the day we got there, Yeah, to say enough. <laughs> so to say enough, you can notice the color of the water is very brown. Um, and this was, I think, the second day, actually. And we started to hear rumblings about a storm coming through. <laughs> <sighs> and there were a lot of dogs on the beach. There was uh -huh. always dogs. Um, but the water looked like this. And they had the official came on. They had a police officer and this official with a bullhorn and what did he say something basically that you're not allowed to swim obviously but. that's all he told us and so we're like okay we weren't gonna go swimming anyway little did we know that there was a cyclone happening and he said that all in what's the language um, hindi in hindi to everyone else so they all knew what was going on all we knew is that we couldn't swim in the water and that night it was quite the storm and we got stuck no electricity pretty intense yeah so you can see the waves are huge and really really intense. and so dirty that's probably from the pollution also just from mm -hmm. what's at the bottom of the ocean but 
when I was there two years prior, blue. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, this is what it usually looks like. And I was like, okay, this is very different. Yeah. So that was an adventure. We ended up playing cards all day because we had nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. By candlelight. By candlelight. Um, and so the last location we're going to go to is New Jersey, where we are right now and um, where we were just a couple of weeks ago. I have some pictures from the Atlantic Ocean in Seaside Heights or Seaside Park technically, mm -hmm. which is this. And I put these first because like, look at the difference between <laughs> the color. That's probably what it looked like when you were there. Yeah, um, I'm a little darker. In but India, yeah. but um, yeah. So this is, um, this picture was taken just a couple of weeks ago um, in Island Beach State Park. They reopened it. We were very excited and we walked along the beach and so saw beautiful. the beautiful water. But don't be deceived. Freezing cold. Freezing cold, <laughs> freezing cold. Not as freezing as I think normally, but still freezing. Yeah. Still totally freezing. It's really improved. Looks so inviting. It does, it does. <laughs> and it's really improved over the years. Um, I'd say even like 10 years ago, the water was not this mm -mm. pretty and blue. Yeah. So it's really gorgeous. This was taken a couple of years ago in um, a town called Red Bank, right on the water. There's a lot of boats have docked there. And this is just Beautiful another view. Beautiful reflections. Yeah. That's my favorite. I know. Looks almost painted, no? Mm -hmm. like the water. Mm -hmm. The waves. This mm -hmm. is the water. I like that one. It's kind of like the picture from last week in Greece of the red red rock rock reflecting on the water and the blue and that this was actually the sky was purple mm. and it was reflecting off this was taken on pelican island which is where we have a house where we stay and um this is the bay so the atlantic ocean but the bay and this is our sunset. At Sunset Beach. At Sunset Beach. We, we named it that. Um, this is the bridge is to the left here that you take to get onto the island. And uh, we get really nice sunsets all summer right there in this beach. So um, this was actually taken just um, a couple weeks ago because um, I brought my big camera down to the beach for sunset. And last but not least, I know this is not a beach picture, but I had to share this fox that lives on Island Beach State Park as a little added treat. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it is a beach picture, not a sea picture. It's not a sea picture, <laughs> it's a beach picture. Um, but this guy showed up and um, graced us with his presence and I luckily had my zoom lens so I was able to get him nice and close um, because I didn't want to get close to him <laughs> who knows what he would have done um, really cute yeah so those are our seeds for today I hope you enjoyed um, traveling around a little bit to Europe and India and to see um, all three oceans I've been to um and love that you guys are here today thank you for coming and um we'll see you again sometime soon and as always you can find that through um my emails or um project wonderful. project wonderful dot com that's where you can find it so um tell your friends for the next time and we will um talk to you soon thanks for joining us today we'll talk later Bye. Thank you.